because I didn't really vlog much because I was kind of with some people that didn't really want to shove a camera in their face or anything because they invited me on a trip so I wanted to be respectful but so I, what I decided to do instead was voice over most of the clips. I, I did manage to vlog a little bit when I was being the Bodhi but that was about it so so in order to describe everything that was going on while I was diving I just did a voiceover for each clip to explain to you what was going on and on like the first day of getting there we were kind of just getting in there checking everything out we dove for a little bit we got some fish but I didn't really record much on the first day so I'll just be showing like kind of day two and day three and yeah so let's get into it. Hi, right, what's up guys? So today I'm out here in Grand Key with the Baileys on their boat. Been diving, we've been diving. Oh, Nick's going down on a big grouper apparently. But yeah, I've been diving all morning. I got some good fish, shot, shot a yellow fin, giant dog snapper, giant mutton. Had some scares with sharks, but yeah, got some epic footage. We're gonna roll that now. So here on this dive, uh, I decided to quickly just make a dive to look around and to see how the ground sort of looked and to see if I could spot anything around. And as I was looking around, I spotted a mutton off in the distance. As I spotted him, I slowly loaded up my spear and tried to approach him slowly to close the gap. And I was able to take a long shot, but sadly it did not hold and he tore off. As I jumped in at this new spot, I noticed a mutton snapper swimming towards me. So I quickly took a little breathe up and dove down slowly to dive bomb directly on top of this mutton and was able to catch up to him for the stone shot. jumped in on a ledge and I spotted a large dog snapper poke his head out and I quickly made a dive and was able to sneak around and take a shot. tell from the reaction Nick was probably even more stoked than I was on this fish. The second I saw Nick's pole spear fly, I made a dive down quickly and was able to extract his fish for him. Oh, good, bro. Bro, thank you, guys. Good. I spotted a big mutton moving in, so I made a dive and was able to get a good shot in him. At first, I thought I stoned him, but he started going crazy and almost rocked up, but I was able to get him out. Yeah, 
so what you're not able to see in this clip is after the shark turned away from me he shot up to the surface and started zipping around really fast but Nick was able to hit him with his pole spear without a tip on and he shot off We had been watching this yellowfin grouper for a few minutes and then he finally holed up so I knew it was my perfect opportunity to dive on him and I, he met me face to face at the opening of the ledge. I didn't see him quite at first so when I saw him and I started lining up on him he jolted to the side but as he was about to bolt I was able to quickly get a shot off. My boy Ian sleeping. <laughs> Boys, I don't know if you can see on the right there. Speared into a big grouper apparently. So I just just threw in the float line, put up to the bottom of the pole spear, because there's a shark around apparently. So hopefully if the shark grabs the fish, it has to drag the float line and the pole with it and we can just fight the shark on the float line to stop him from taking the pole spear because we actually lost one yesterday so yeah I'll let you know how it goes when we get the fish yes sir, yes, sir. It took a long ass time but we got him float line was clutch bro thank you huh float line was clutch yes sir nice nice fish is that about the size of the one i made you lose yesterday yes sir nice nassau <sighs> yes sir So here I had just hopped back in the water. I spotted a nice hogfish on the bottom and I made my way down and as I got closer I approached and got the shot off. Nick had just torn off a nice hogfish, so I decided to follow it and made a dive and managed to get a shot off. Ooh. I had just spotted a nice Nassau grouper, so I was trying to point it out for Nick. This spot was really murky, so we were just kind of making back-to-back -back dives on structure. And here I made a dive on a nice ledge, and I spotted a nice Nassau grouper, and I was able to get the shot off.
this right here was the same spot, same kind of scenario, and I made a dive, spotted another Nassau grouper right towards the end of my dive. As I saw him, I slowly approached him and coming towards the end of my breath hold, just took a shot and was able to land it. Dude, I was like about to come up, saw this thing like 20 feet away from me. Sadly, I didn't turn on my GoPro for this dive, but Ooh. I explained the story He's right here in a second. <laughs> Sick. Dude, I was down just laying on the bottom for like a minute. Yeah. I was about to come up and he just swam straight up to me. Oh, and I reached, I reached back and fought, I got it loaded and he swam right back up to me again. <laughs> Alright, so I just hopped back up in the boat. I just shot about a 40 pound black grouper and a bunch of giant Nassau's, a big yellowfin grouper, hogfish. Yeah, we're slaying it right now. They, the boys got some as well. I'm driving now in Bodie. You can see them right there. Apparently they see a big dog snapper and a big yellowfin grouper on this spot. And yeah, I'll let you know when they get it. Here, let me just see if I can show you the box right now. It's stacked up, completely stacked. You can't see my group, my big grouper. My big grouper, oh, you can kind of see him. He's right there, you can see his lips. But yeah, we got a bunch of big fish. Killing it. So on the way down to check this new spot, it was a nice ledge, uh, and I spotted a nice Nassau grouper that popped up out of the ledge. I made my way over to it and was able to get a nice headshot on it. There's a shark. After handing up that nice Nassau up to the boat, I grabbed my pole spear and I looked down and I spotted a nice yellow fin out on the open. I followed him over to his hole, made a dive, and was able to get a really nice headshot in him and pull him out in one dive. I spotted a 40 pound black grouper and chased him against current for a little bit and without catching my breath made a dive to the ledge that he went in before he was able to move. As I approached the opening of the ledge I spotted him facing towards me and was able to take a face shot on him. I pulled him out of the ledge and brought him up to the surface, fought him all the way up in one dive. Ain't no tag! One dive! One dive! One fucking dive, Mike! Holy f Put it through his lip. Go. Or, or here, Go. <laughs> That's sick. Holy f***.
got huge. <laughs> Sadly, I missed the clip on a really nice grouper just before this one, but this right here is a really nice Nassau grouper that I spotted, and I came around the back side of it and popped over the top to where he couldn't see me until I was right in front of him and took a shot. Oh no, I, when I shot it, I was recording. That is a stud. Um, some people don't like being boaty. But after shooting about six big grouper myself, boaty ain't too bad. Got my snocking, snocking after some diving. Hearing them grunting about all the fish. They ain't shot one yet. But they about to shoot one, so everything cool. Yeah, man. I'll let y'all know when they get one. We are diving some of the best reef in the Bahamas. It's a great place. It's about 40 miles away from anything. It's like far away, so it doesn't get touched much because it's such a distance to go. And yeah, we've been slaying it, you know, slaying it. I'm Bodie. Right about now, because I've already shot plenty of fish, and I was, I'm happy. They, I get to dive to the Bahamas every day. They don't, so I'm, I'm happy to drive for however long they want. I've already got a few really good fish, so I'm chilling. But yeah, you know they they keep grunting and grunting about fish, so yeah, we'll we'll see when they get one, and I'll let y'all know. Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I know that is. That's my boy. 